This bungalow in the sleepy harbor town of San Pedro, California, is the site of one of the most bizarre poltergeist encounters ever recorded. A woman who will call Jackie and her two infant children have been living with what she believes is an evil presence. Then one day her fears become reality as cameraman Barry Conrad shoots this video a strange red liquid of unknown origin begins oozing from the house. It was coming out of everywhere. It was just dripping out of the walls. Everyone just left except us. Things are starting to drip out of the cabinets. Nobody believes us, but it's happening. There it is. There it is, right there. Unbelievable. It's dripping. A few days later, life in Jackie's home becomes even more chaotic. Things just started happening around the house. Objects were being thrown, the kids' toys thrown around. Um, you hear noises. Finally, Jackie can take no more. She leaves Barry Conrad this frantic message. I'm not staying here, Barry. I'm out of here. I gotta get out of here. I can't stay here. Barry and his team rush to the scene. Jeff Wheatcraft and a photographer, Gary Bohm, spend several months investigating the mysterious sounds coming from the attic. It's a decision they will soon live to regret. I feel a little queasy about going up there, but then I'm like, uh, I guess I'll go up. If I got a partner, why? It's so bad. I try and tell them, you know, whatever it is, it doesn't want us here, it doesn't want you here, it doesn't want me here. You know, let's just, like, get out of here. Suddenly, they hear a strange noise coming from above. There were three snapping sounds, and they were clear as bell. And they were my left ear, and they went like this. The men claim at that moment they were attacked. What's wrong? What happened? I told you to get down! Get down! This isn't a good idea. This isn't a good idea. This isn't a good idea. Yeah, please get down. I gotta get out of here. Whoa. It's definitely raising me up. Jeff, please come here. Get this for me. Get this for me. Get the mic. Get the mic. Jeff, here you go, lady. Here you go. Here you go. What the hell happened? Are you okay, buddy? Look at his neck. Oh, Jeff, come on. what's behind your neck? Oh, I don't know. What's on my neck? Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, yeah. Gary, get down out of there. At first, I saw the look of terror on his face. I mean, it was just—he uh, was just terrified. His glasses were gone, and then we saw like a something like a cord that was around his neck. It ended up over my head like this, and then it was twisted like this. I don't know how far or to what degree, but I know it was twisted because it was tied around my neck, and then it was hung up over the nail on one of the cross members that go across the attic. The flash of Gary's camera lights up the attic and captures what appears to be an assault. Get a picture of his neck. Look at this. Look at, this. Look at his neck. Oh, my Look God. There were rope worms in his neck. He was in shock. He didn't know what had happened to him. He remembers suddenly, like, blacking out for an instant. Yeah, Jeff, what happened? Put something around my neck. When I look back on the whole incident, I knew that it's possible I could have been close to death. There's no question about that. According to eyewitnesses, Jackie makes one more startling discovery just before dawn. A mysterious red imprint appears on the forehead of a four-month-old daughter. Come on, you guys, let's go, please let's go. Please let's go, please, what happened to her? Oh my God. I left that night, I never lived there again. I took my kids and left. In the history of organized psychical research or paranormal research, which began in England in 1882, there have only been a handful of reported cases where the phenomena was directly and distinctly attacking the people in the environment or the investigators. And then there is this San Pedro case. Today, the house is quiet, so it's impossible to know what really happened here. Jackie and the kids got out, but her frightening memories will never end.